if you had to laser in on, and this is a loaded question because I've, 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 I've got my three, uh, but what do you think like two or three big things that if you could fix for entrepreneurs, you'd fix or you'd say, go and go and focus on? Hmm. Because there's there's, we know there's about 20, but give me your best. Yeah, there are. It's a very difficult question to answer, actually. I'm just thinking, I mean, I I talk a lot about self-awareness and I think um, for, you know, I don't think entrepreneurship's for everybody. I really don't. Uh, In fact, I think it's for very, I think it's for very few. You know, you have got to be so self-propelled, so self-driven, you know, nobody puts the ladder down for you when you fall down the hole you've got to be able to dig yourself out yeah you've got to be almost blindly optimistic in in the sense that it doesn't take away the realism and the pragmatism but you've got to be extremely optimistic that everything is you know you see the opportunities ahead of you at the same time you can't be um you've got to also learn to mitigate risk, you know, so every people talk about risks, you know, entrepreneurs being very risky. I don't think true entrepreneurs are risky at all. I think it's very calculated. So I, there's so much about a person that will allow them to be that successful entrepreneur that I think self-awareness is really, really important. And you've got to ask yourself, am I those things? Am I, can I do this? Do, why, why, why do I really want to be an entrepreneur? Uh, what is it about my, the decisions that I've made up until now in life that aren't fulfilling me, that aren't ticking my boxes? Which boxes is it not, are they not ticking? Is it not ticking? That, that means I need to change it and I need to go and work for myself. I need to start something. And I think understanding those drivers and where they come from is really, really important because I'm a strong believer that you can't fight nature. And I believe vehemently that nature will always, always win the battle. So when you're, you've got to understand your drivers because if they're kind of counterintuitive for you, if they, if they go against the grain of who you really are, I guarantee you will fail, you know, it, or it'll certainly be a very painful journey. Sure. Yeah. And I think, um, Probably self-awareness is, is one thing that is, is really important, I think, for an entrepreneur. And another one is that self-drive. Um, you know, so many people that I speak to that have, you know, got an idea or whatever, and I just, I'm like, you're just not an entrepreneur. You, you know, it's very painful because nobody wants to hear that. But the no. reality is, is that it's often somebody else's fault it's often somebody else is doing, often bad luck happened to you um, and you find it difficult to pull yourself out of that bad situation. And entrepreneurs, they see the world different than that. It's, it's not somebody else's fault ever. Um, it's always a solution that you personally can and will solve. You will get through this. That's the mindset, of course, you know, reality kicks in and we all fail at some point. Of course we do. We're not, we, we see that and we know that, but I do think that self-drive is a very, very important attribute to being an entrepreneur. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah they're good points. I, I have this, like a, this graph that I, I teach and it comes from actually self-awareness. It's, you know, at the end of the day, you can teach some level of self-awareness by looking at best practice, looking at what other people have discovered on their journey. And coming back to your nurture question, it, it's an interesting point that if, if I was to say, look, here's 12 things that entrepreneurs need to be, here are the traits that you could have. You'd probably say, if you gave yourself a ranking out of 10, that you have a bit of everything, but you're never strong in all of them, right? So the, the question is, the self-awareness allows you to build a discipline, but things like belief or self-drive, they're really hard to actually, you can know about it, but they're really hard to build. Right. You, I mean, you can work at it, but you can't always get it. Sometimes you're just who you are. It's like yeah. resilience. people worry about stuff. They do all this personal development. They go online for all this wisdom. But the truth is, you have to be really resilient. But some people, that's just not their makeup. Exactly. And so, I, you know, you, I think your self-awareness is, look, here's 12 things. Go and look, go and try and develop these traits. You'll succeed in some, but some just won't be there. And if they don't, if they're not naturally there and at the speed you need them, entrepreneurship just might not be the right journey for everyone. Yeah, and I, I really do 
believe that you a hundred percent in fact i believe it you nature will always win always win whether we're talking about the power of the wind the sea um or we're talking about the fact i you know will will always put being a mum first for example that's natural that's built in me i can't fight it i have to build my career around that in fundamental part of who i am the f i am very self-driven i'm extremely optimistic um, also quite risk averse, interesting. You know, those things mean I have to work within that. I'm also painfully last minute, um, often very, I can act on a whim and uh, I have a very strong intuition that I have had to learn to back up with facts. That's not natural. I've had to learn that yeah, when I feel sure. something, I have to back it up with facts. So it's that self-awareness and understanding. Mm -hmm. And then understanding the impact that you have on others and the people around you and hiring people that don't mirror you, that are not like you, but actually that um, make up for your weaknesses. So they operate in a completely different way and understanding that the way that you might, you might behave and the way that you might communicate might actually cause them to be a worse worse at their job you're not bringing out the best in them because they're so different from you so understanding to understand that naturally they're very different and how can you behave with them um how do they need to be led or need to be managed because you're so different so i think i really do think that that whole like who am i naturally and what can i learn is is really important